You fail with the smart money concept and price action, and you can't find out the reason? Then you don't know the secrets behind inducement and liquidity. Liquidity and inducement are two of the most critical concepts of smart money that you must master before placing any trade. In this episode, we will reveal the secrets behind inducement and liquidity traps, and also, we are going to show you how to avoid getting caught in the liquidity and inducement traps that market makers always have prepared for you. So guys, if that's something you're interested in, please give this video a thumbs up to show your support and subscribe if you are new. Welcome back traders, before explaining the manipulation methods and traps that central banks and large financial institutions have prepared for traders, you should be able to detect the possible inducement and liquidity zones in the market and know their exact definitions, so guys, let's get started by definition of the inducement. Inducement occurs at a specific point or zone in the market, where traders believe it is the correct time to enter a trade based on their analysis and trading system, which is used by central banks and large financial institutions to fall retail traders into their traps. What does that mean exactly? Where can we find inducements? Most of the time, inducement appears at these specific points and zones. Order blocks. Support and resistance levels. Swing highs and swing lows. Trend lines. So let's start with the order block. As you know guys order blocks are very important optimized supply and demand zones that, when price reaches them, may potentially change its direction to the opposite way. Order block includes many buy and sell orders. So order block is an inducement level where traders get induced into the market and always place their buy or sell orders in it to get taken into the market. As you can see here, price breaks the recent market structure to the upside and generated this bullish order block where traders looking to have long position by setting their buy orders because it's an area or induce traders to get into the market. It's obvious price did not respect this bullish order block, so this order block is not valid and fails the SMC traders, so we can call it an inducement. Again, we have another order block a little bit lower, as you can see guys, price did not respect this order block, so it is not valid, so it's an inducement like the first order block. Just be sure to watch this video until the end because I am going to show you which order block is valid and safe to trade and which one is an inducement that you must ignore them. So guys, the next zones where inducement occurs oftentimes are support and resistance levels. As you know guys, all traders consider support and resistance as levels that price will change its direction and will respect these levels every time price comes back to them, so many traders always get induced into the market in these zones. For example, we have this major support zone that price is rejected from it multiple times. So traders get induced into market every time price comes back into this area by hoping that price pushes to the upside, they set their buy orders at this area and finally get induced into market. But as you can see, price before going to the upside went down and hit the stop loss of the traders by this long wick who had buy position in the support level. Price after taking out the buyers, rapidly started to rise up. So guys this is an inducement, and this scenario has been designed by market makers. Swing lows and highs are the points on the chart that might behave as inducements. As you know guys, swing highs and swing lows are the highest and lowest points where price has recently hit. Especially on higher time frames like daily, these points are more important and price has more tendency to respect these points. So, traders always get induced into the market in swing highs and swing lows. For example, here in NZD dollar daily time frame, we have this swing high as the highest point that price has recently hit. And we spot this point as the swing low. Most of the retail traders place their buy and sell orders at swing low and swing high, with the argument that price will respect these areas and will change its direction when reaches them. As you can see, price makes fake breakouts in these areas and hit the stop loss of both buyers and sellers. So guys we consider them as inducements. Trendline is the fourth item that frequently acts as an inducement. The trend line is a line drawn over pivot highs or under pivot lows to show the prevailing direction of price. 
Trend lines are a visual representation of support and resistance in any time frame. Most of the retail traders consider trend lines as their possible entry points and get induced into the market when price breaks or reaches the current trend line of the market. For example, here we have this trend line that price touched it two times, so retail traders would get induced and take short position after price respected trend line at the third touch. Or if price does not respect the trend line, they would look for a long position because the price breaks the trend line and they think it's the right time to place an order and get into the market. This scenario is happening over and over in the market. Traders always see something on the price chart and they place orders based on their analysis and trading plans because they think it's the right time to take positions in the market. How may inducement be advantageous for us? Inducement can be used to identify the market liquidity zones. Additionally, it enables us to move with market liquidity and take profits instead of getting trapped in the liquidity of the market's major players. Now, we know the basics of inducement, let's move on to liquidity. What is the exact definition of liquidity? Liquidity simply means money or large counter orders that must be fulfilled. Market always needs to sweep the liquidity to gain momentum. In other words, liquidity is used as the fuel of the market, which is vital and necessary for the market dynamics. So, where we can find the liquidity? Liquidity is a zone on the chart where a large pool of money is resting, such as stop losses and buy or sell orders, because when somebody gets stopped out of a position that money gets taken by the market. So, this is a scenario designed by central banks or big financial institutions. They artificially manipulate the market and make traders believe that they know what is going on with price action, and essentially most of the time those people are wrong, and they fall into the traps and finally, they lost their capital. So, if we want to survive in the financial markets as a profitable trader and prevent huge losses, we must be able to properly identify the liquidity zones on the chart. We already can find liquidity below equal lows and swing low. Above equal highs, swing highs. Below or above the dynamic trend lines or channels. Below or above order blocks. Now we know the basic of liquidity and inducement. So, what is the difference between liquidity and inducement? Liquidity doesn't take traders into the market, it takes them out of the market, but inducement forces traders to get into the market and eventually get caught by the traps that market makers already designed for them. We already discuss both inducement and liquidity, and now we have important information about them in the following. I am going to show you how to use inducement and liquidity in your trading plan to avoid getting trapped by market makers and reduce your potential losses. So, here we have this schematic figure that simulates the price movements. As you can see, we have a downtrend. Price mitigates this zone here, then reverse to the downside. As you can see, price is pushed to the downside and couldn't break the recent structure. Also, price makes this tiny pullback to the upside. After gaining enough momentum, price is pushed to the downside and has made this break of structure here. So guys, we have this unmitigated zone here that potentially price may get reversed from it. Also we have another unmitigated zone right here, which is created by the recent BOS. So, most of the smart money concept traders, ICT traders and retail traders get confused and they don't really know which zone is more safe to trade. As we have explained before, inducements are places on the chart designed by big smart money concepts traders like central banks or large financial institutions to deceive or induce retail traders to have buy or sell positions in the market and eventually build more liquidity for them. So for us, this zone is an inducement level because as you can see here, price tried to mitigate the upper zone, but instead, before reaching this zone, it went down rapidly and broke the recent structure to the downside. So what we will see in the cases like this scenario, that is the market makers induce some of the SMC, ICT, and retail traders to get into the market and have sell positions, 
when price mitigating this inducement zone. In the continue, as you can see, price rose up and touched the inducement zone and shows us a little rejection from the zone. So, this rejection makes most of the traders excited and makes them believe that price will go in their direction. Also, this rejection induces more price action traders to get into the market by opening sell positions within the stop losses above this double top. Now, guys, as you can see here, this scenario, which is designed by market makers, has generated massive liquidity here, right below our first unmitigated zone. So, as you know, guys, the market always sweeps the liquidity to gain its momentum. So, here, price come back to our first unmitigated zone swept the liquidity, and continued to its primary direction, I mean downside. So guys, this was a simplified scenario that shows how market makers and central banks manipulate the market to fall retail traders into traps, get them out of the market and take their capital. So, for a better understanding of this topic, I am going to explain another schematic figure. So, as you can see, we have another downtrend. Here, price has created this low. After this pullback, price went down and generated this break of structure. Also, we can easily spot this unmitigated zone here. And we have this double top here. We know that this double top created a very good liquidity zone, which rests right above the equal highs. And we know that, finally price will come for sweeping liquidity gathered here, to mitigate this order block. Also the double top acted as a resistance level and retail traders entered the market by going short from it and expecting price to push lower to the downside. In the continue, we expect that price sweep the liquidity resting above equal highs. But we see price didn't sweep the liquidity and continued to the downside after mitigating this zone. By happening this scenario, most of the traders are getting confused and asking questions like, why prices moved to the downside without sweeping the liquidity, resting over the equal highs. Guys, we don't exactly know what price will do, or when price will come back and sweep the liquidity that is resting in the market. It probably can take an hour, or a month, but price definitely will sweep the resting liquidity. The only thing that we should do certainly, is to avoid trading from areas like this area, that liquidity pool is resting above it. Because definitely, price in the future will come after the liquidity pool. So guys let's continue, as you can see, price after reaching this zone here, pushed to the downside and already generated this break of structure here. So guys, for me this unmitigated order block which is created by the last BOS, is an inducement level, that market makers waiting for it. Because this zone, looks like a very good sell zone for the SMC and ICT traders, which is created from a break of structure, with some imbalances appeared in its movement to the downside. Market makers know this fact, that most of the SMC and ICT traders, have their eyes on this level and they will get into the market by short positions. But in fact, they already forgot about the liquidity pool, resting above the zone. And also they forgot about this unmitigated zone here. As you can see, we already have this trend line that when price touches it, most of the retail traders and price action traders will get into the market by sell positions, so this trend line is created good liquidity at the top of its line. So guys this inducement level provides a lot of rational reasons that SMC, ICT, and retail traders would think, this level is a very good zone for selling the market, and market makers already know this. Market makers already know the trading setups and thoughts of the retail traders. And they always prepare traps to get retail traders into the market and take their capital. So guys, as I mentioned before, we consider this zone as an inducement and definitely we are not going to get into the market in this zone. As you can see, price after showing tiny respect for the inducement zone, went up rapidly and mitigated this zone and swept the liquidity that accumulated for a long time, and already swept the liquidity, that recently created by the stop losses of the traders, who sold the market from inducement level. As you can see, price finally pushed lower, and continued in its primary direction. 
So guys let's see another possible scenario that frequently would happen in the market. So, as you can see on the left side, price is in a downtrend and respected this channel multiple times. As you can see, price after making this lower low and mitigating this important bullish order block, has changed its direction to upward for touching the top line of the channel. We can consider this area as an inducement level. So it is obvious, most of the retail traders who trade based on chart patterns will get into the market by sell orders at this point, where price touches the channel's top line, and they also create this liquidity pool by setting their stop losses here. So as you know guys, market makers always want to sweep the liquidity of the market, so in this scenario, they pushed price to the upside, and as you can see price broke this structure. And also broke the channel to the upside, and hit the stop losses of retail traders, and gained more momentum. In the continue, by breaking the channel's trend line, most of the retail traders aggressively get into the market, by opening long positions. So guys, here traders are induced to get into the market by both sells and buys positions. This scenario happens over and over in the market, and this is exactly, is what market makers want. In the following, some traders enter by positions at this pullback and expect price to go higher, as you can see price continue to the upside, and also made this temporary trend line. Then what happened, as you can see, price pushed higher and suddenly dropped to sweep the liquidity pool resting here, which made with the stop losses of retail traders, who entered to buy positions within the temporary uptrend. In the following, price after collecting liquidity of both buyers and sellers, and after mitigating this extreme demand zone, pushed to the upward. Now let's move to the real price chart or one hour time frame here. As you can see, price changed its direction to the downside after the creation of this change of character. Here, we have a break of structure that price closed below the recent lower low. Again, here we have another break of structure. So guys, we are pretty sure now that the market is bearish. Next, we have these equal highs here, which shows us the liquidity resting above there. And already we have this unmitigated order block here, which is generated by a BOS. We expect price to come back and hit and reverse from this zone. In fact, we are expecting price to come back and sweep the liquidity that accumulated above equal highs, and after touching the unmitigated order block, continue to the downside. But as you can see, price went up and hit and reversed from this zone. The traders who try to trade from this level are totally wrong, even though they were lucky, because price reversed from this zone and pushed lower. As you know guys, price always wants to sweep the liquidity, so in this case, anyone that is trying to trade from this zone, already has ignored the liquidity zone here, which is created by recent equal lows. The lucky traders who had short positions from here, look to find an opportunity to enter a short position from this order block that is generated by recent BOS. But this level is an inducement level, because based on smart money basics, this zone seems a very good and safe level to go short, because first, it's an unmitigated order block, and second, the price already has reversed from this zone in the recent past. Many SMC traders who did not understand the liquidity and inducement topics, they get induced into the market and place their sell orders in this area, and they also disregard the liquidity zones that are resting on the chart. But as you can see guys, price pushed upside, and after sweeping the trendline liquidity, created by retail traders stop losses, and also sweeping the liquidity of inducement level, which is created by SMC traders, finally reached this unmitigated order block and after sweeping the liquidity of equal highs, rapidly reversed to the downside. That's it traders, if you enjoyed the video and want us to keep making more videos week after week, please be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell and also in the comments section, let us know your opinions and tell us what kind of topics you want us to cover. And we'll work our best to create more videos for you. So thanks for watching and we will see you in the next episode.